just thought I'd say a massive big thank you to everybody that's uh, been supporting me on this journey. For just a moment for you to just stand and watch the sea. We're locked in if you uh, can't see. So that's, you, that's barricaded down and the doors all closed. So all of this is completely shut down. So, I mean, how lovely just to stand here. Um, hey, uh, Lizzie, thanks again, and I hope everything's going okay today. But this is just for you guys, just to thank you. Obviously, we get to appreciate this. Um, I haven't had the car, so I haven't been able to come down here, really, but it's not that far from me. But for an EDS mother with kids, it is. So thank God I've had the, the car this evening to just pop down. Been up to the gallery, which is just at the corner, which is what brought me here. And um, this is actually where... Uh, I first proper got to know Alan um, just sitting up there because he comes down here and does some fishing, so. So I know obviously the rules are all going to change on you and uh, what you abide to and what you conform to is all down to your own thinking, your own mind, your own ways. So I haven't had a chance to catch up and see what they're doing with you all today. Um, but obviously I know there's a lot of people scared. So just think that this, this is the one true healer, this here. This is, this is, this is your mother earth, mate. This is, this is the yin, the yang, the water, the earth, fire. So did you know if I completely just bulged into this right now, jump straight in, I could reset my body and um, I'm getting there. Uh, I know there's a lot of you that are brave enough to literally just jump into the sea at this time of the evening. Um, but it helps reset the body. And hopefully one day I'm going to get to my sunrise, sunset. And that includes literally being able to just swim in the sea. Not a big bloody chlorine pool, the actual sea. Um, also just watching, obviously, to make sure we haven't got any seals that have pulled in. Um, I'm going to be doing seal watch down here as well. Uh, perfect for someone like me. So I'm going to try and get Carl involved. Um, Carl is recovering crackhead, so to say. Right, it's coming in quite fast, guys. So we might have to uh, just embrace it for a little bit. But And as I did say, I'm, I'm, I'm locked in, so... They lock the doors down when it's high tide, which is not actually high tide right now. You know, just whatever you're doing in your life right now, you know, just to stop. The only time we ever really take it like a minute silence is if we're thinking about a passing of someone else, but we don't ever really take a minute silence just for ourselves. I'm not even talking about prayer or meditation. I'm just talking about just some peace, quiet. Just to take some time to yourself to just breathe and, you know, listen to, uh, listen to Harry, mate. He's, he's a leader. He's telling you, don't do jobs that you don't enjoy. And yes, it is easy to change over. Do what you love create the life that you love like seriously live in the seasons get out of this calendar mindset why are you all living till christmas to pay for three days of a year you know you're not slaves you weren't born to be slaves you're sovereign beings we're all sovereign beings and it's these borders that define the continents and countries of the world Divided by language because of Babylonian times. Just as the water just comes in, just imagine that water taking away all your worries, all your stresses, all your fears. It's coming to get them all and then just let it go. 
or even as I do, come down and grab a rock and throw it in. Oh, is there a bottle? Okay, thank you. No worries, we can... Someone's left a bottle. My boys want to collect it and put it away. Really healthy for you guys. Seaweed. You're really healthy for you. So, Alan is making everybody nervous for tomorrow. Holy shit. What state do you reckon Alan's going to turn up tomorrow? I've got a feeling I might have an army of alcoholics. The Bible said that we were not actually to associate with alcoholics. However, I disagree because actually it's that love and compassion that gets to them. Um, but obviously Luke, we've got a look. It's Luke's struggling because he's in the back of Alan's photograph on the painting, yeah? And I think everybody knows that this is going to be quite a life-altering day for Alan. He's going to be asking q and A. I'm going to be there with him because obviously people can't deal with the biting sea lion if you trigger him off. And just to show you, obviously, today when I lived him, there was a very posh man going into his home who didn't quite like the alcoholic at the door brushing past and certainly wouldn't ask Alan to move. Um, whoa. Where the heck did that just go? Oh. <laughs> it just caused the shadow that scared me. <laughs> I just had a big shadow come down me on the beach then. It was just somebody walking across up the top. So look. Oh, they've just moved and They were sitting there doing this, look. Should we have a campfire down here one evening with everybody? Yeah, we could. Easy. Oh, we got torches being checked on the area as well up there. Don't know what that's about. So, no, they'll just be making sure that everybody's safe or it's a dog walker checking in. No, just a dog walker sneaking in. It's fine. Oh, should we go? Should we see if we can get across to our little space a minute? But if this water comes in, we've got to go quite quickly, okay? Come to my little... Uh, my little space I can't wait to get in my oh, I've got to be really careful right because usually whenever I've got baggy trousers on whoa hang on a minute let me check something boys first hello no you're all good mate. you're all good you're all good um, yeah, I've got my baggy trousers on, but usually I've got like my dancing shorts on and stuff, but I, I thought I was wearing jeans today, so I've got normal knickers on, and I've got to make sure they don't bloody fall down, because I don't mind if I've got shorts underneath it, but not when I've got bloody knickers. They're not checking on us, it's just someone with a torch walking on the beach, darling. So, anyway. I don't know what you can see, I just want you to be able to enjoy the beach, really. You're going through there. I'm not going through there in the dark. I can't see, darling. Yeah, it's too dark for mommy to go through. Yeah, you want to go down the other side? Yeah. Well, we do get a lot of crabs down here, don't we? Yeah, I'm not worried if I see a crab and it pinches me. That would hurt. That would leave a bruise on me. That <laughs> oh, yeah, don't you touch that. That's glass, but we can do something about that. We put it in the bin up there. Oh, so this is a crab area. Let mummy just take it. I can put it in the bin up there. Because it's broken as well, so I'll take it. Is it? Right, I've not got my gloves on and neither have you guys. 
and I'm feeling like I need some gloves. Oh, it's fisherman guys coming out. Oh, look, what has he made? Look. A seaweed fire. <laughs> anyway, boys have found some fishermen, so uh, I'm going to go and put this stuff in the bin. And uh, there's a couple of bit more rubbish I can take. Um, I know most of you like to do things all officially and join these things where everybody does it officially, but I'm just not like that. Um, yeah, well, only that's going to mean my pants are going to fall down. Ready? Go. Legs. Ooh. Let me climb up a wall. Oh, my goodness. This is where my EDS and me don't go well. Uh, this, is, this is when sometimes my EDS takes over. I can't work out what's changed here, though. Oh, just to remind you again, the date that COVID was first ever named. Uh, and 1984, as well, was a book by George Orwell. So the book was called 1984. Where's the bin gone? That's what's gone. Where's the bin gone? And that bin? Where's the bins gone? No wonder there's rubbish going on. What's the point? Where's the bins? So anyway, I'll just show you it for a second. I'm trying to find where all my bins have gone. Right, that's really weird, guys. They've moved all the bins out. As an ex-army wife, I know what moving the bins out means. They have. They've moved all the bins out. That's four bins that they've moved out from here. Wow, that's four bins that have been moved out from here. Um, even the other one's gone. Yeah, I can sort your shoe. Wow, okay. That's quite a major thing, unless they're going to be bringing robots in to clean it up. So anyway, one last thing. Actually, my hands are getting really cold. So. Right, up the stairs so I can put this in the bin and get Elijah's shoes on. I've got to have to find a bin somewhere. Right, we've got a bin. Yes. Yes, I've got a handful. Anyway, have a nice day. I'm trying to turn my phone off.